Well, I think it's really important what you said there is like people, again, exchanging numerical quantifiable data and conflating that with value, right? So I if your worldview is that the only way to do that is through statistics, then you're going to look at this problem of testing as a commoditized engineering maths problem, right? If, if you know, ask, ask you know, the, the people who came up with Windows 8, right, if they tested it, right? Absolutely. Did people like the product? Did they view it as a quality product? No, right? You know what I mean? Um, a ask the folks at healthcare.gov, right? I'm sure they tested the hell out of that thing, right, as far as they were concerned, but ultimately what happened? You know what I mean? So do the, is the, the essence to solving our problems, does it exist in numbers? You know, or is it that squishy human side that's difficult to, it's more qualitative than quantitative? I think you need to have a balance of the two. You know, I, I, I like to look at things like at effort and try and learn from how we've done that. But when you start trying to, you know, you know express quality um, as a numerical value, you're, the, the amount of inattentional blindness and confirmation bias you're injecting into your process is just very difficult to overcome. So, I, you know, when people tell me, you know, we've, we've increased our testing efficiency by, you know, 50%, right? You know, my highly tuned BS detector starts blinking. And, you know, the, the, and, and the, the fundamental problem there is that there's so much context that's required for that. 50% of what? With who? In what environment? And, you know, so you start showing, and, and it turns out actually what they really mean is, you know, 50% of the tests that we know, that we ran, that passed, that we were able to script. And, but, you know, so you start, you know, uh, putting a lot of context around that. It becomes meaningless rather quickly. And then the other question a lot of people get hung up on when you start asking about their kind of quantitative metrics is, so what? Right? So what, what did that do for you? If you, you know, increased your test efficiency by 50%, so? Yeah, I mean, it's like I, I run testing for a living and I barely care about those metrics, right? So if they're not telling you something, if they don't tell a story about product quality or how we're actually doing, um, I, I, I find them rather meaningless. And that's actually a key to why a lot of testers don't get into management and they don't communicate well with C-level people. And then this is a talk I'm giving at Test Bash is, you know, they don't speak that language. And testers, because they want to feel... Uh, you know, respected, and they want to feel like they're 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 uh, contributing to the overall value proposition of the organization. Create this kind of like sub language, and we talk about test cases and pass fail ratios and everything else, and nobody cares about it. You know, because one, it's it's typically not aligned towards any kind of value that the organization is is trying to do. If, it, if you can't tie it directly to how it's helping us be more successful in the business. Who cares? You know what I mean? And, that, and we make that mistake again and again and again because we, we, people don't talk like that.